I'm reviewing the Zoom Kobe 3. Uh, this is a pair of size 12. I also picked this up off of the Kobe collector that I met up locally. And uh, official colorway is black, white, anthracite, and varsity maize. And uh, without further ado, let's just get right into it. So here are the shoes. Uh, I've got to say this is one of the funkiest shoes I've ever owned in my collection. Uh, it's probably the funkiest one out of the, the Kobe series. I mean, uh, some people collect 1 through 23 in the Jordan series, but they don't really like all of them. As far as the design goes, uh, the waffle upper, it's got a mesh sections all over the shoe. Let me just loosen the shoe a little bit. As I was saying, the waffle pattern does serve uh, an actual purpose. It's got ventilation holes all over the shoe, or perforations as we like to call it. And uh, that's pretty much it. Black shoe, this shoe is called Blackout. You got a white swoosh on the back, a yellow Kobe logo, and a zoom in yellow on the back as well. As far as the bottom here, um, traction looks extremely deceiving. I assume it performs amazingly since Kobe was killing it in these. You also got a piece of carbon fiber right in the mid middle for a support. As far as cushioning goes, uh, there is a heel and forefoot zoom. It provides a smooth ride, but the zoom bags aren't as responsive as the Kobe 1s or the 2s. Here's another quick look. There's also that same silver piece with the Kobe signature, as same as the 2s, same spot. And uh, on the inside, you see a yellow Shizoku logo, as well as the tongue. In terms of hunting these down, I, I feel like these were probably the one of the hardest ones. I just happened to bump the seller that uh, had both the 2 and the 3. But uh, in terms of on eBay, uh, the 3s weren't as, va as available as the other ones. Uh, I don't know why, maybe people just love these and beat them up. Or uh, people just love these. They're a little different, they're funky looking. And uh, not everybody will have that same shoe, right? A little toolbox here, uh, you know, you can't really avoid it. Uh, it's a little creasing. But I feel like the leather is a little thinner than usual. Uh, it's not as thick as the Kobe 1s or the 2s. Uh, maybe they were just going for a lightweight route. I don't think they were uh, cutting, out, cutting down the material just yet. Uh, but even the tongue, the, the toe box, just feels a little thin to me. Uh, not as thick or plush as the Kobe 1 and 2. On the inside here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. The tongue, uh, the top part is independent, and then the, the bottom is like an inner booty style. Uh, kind of like a crotchy, but not really. Only the bottom is connected. And uh, that's pretty much it. Let me just throw these guys on feet and uh, see what you guys think. Here they are on feet. I feel like they, they look better on feet. They look kind of funky. Uh, in terms of fit, uh, they wrap your foot really well. I think I could have went another half size down. A lot of these older shoes, uh, I feel like I can go down just because uh, the toe box is leather. It'll stretch a little bit and uh, it'll just feel more comfortable as a, with a closer fit. And that's my personal opinion. I'm starting to fall in love with more of these retro shoes. This is leather, just conforms to your foot a lot better. As far as the cushioning goes, uh, I don't think um, the zoom units are as responsive as they could be. Uh, it still is a really comfortable shoe. You don't feel the heel zoom as much. The forefoot zoom, you still feel a little bit. But uh, overall, really light shoe, a really comfortable shoe. Uh, it's different. Uh, I'm starting to really like my way of weights, similar to like how I'm gonna like these ones. It's just a little different, you know what I'm saying? Everybody will be wearing the same stuff, Jordans, the newest Kobe's or LeBron's, but not everybody's going to have some of the older stuff. And uh, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, catch you guys later.